Hello everyone, this is John with Ziptopia.org. Welcome to the Oracle slash Acme Packet Session Border Controller Simplified Configuration Series Part 4. Today we are going to cover the Layer 7 settings in the SBCs and finalize this tutorial series. Alright, we are almost there. Let's first go through a few configuration items that we need to squeeze into the setup and then look into more fun stuff, namely the local policies. Finally, let's see if all these configurations work. So far, we have kept the session border controller configuration simple, short and sweet. There are a few other items we need to add into the configuration though. One of them is the error in the previous tutorial called out is the zip config section. Similarly, We'll add a system config and media manager sections with minimum entries to move on. Let's do it. All right, we logged into our SPC. Since the error was about zip config section, let's start with that. In order to get there, we need to go to session router and then zip config. Do a select. Let's hit the question mark to see what entries are available, state, etc, etc, etc. Well, since we are trying to do this with minimum entries, let's just hit done to see what happens. Enable dialog, enabled. Good. I think we are good. Let's do this. Now let's move on to system config, which is in here. Another select and the question mark. Let's see what items we have here. Well, hostname. I do want to keep the hostname as Ziptopia. And default gateway. That's a good one. Let's add those. Hostname, Ziptopia. Default gateway, 192.168.1.1. If you are not familiar with these IP addresses, please make sure you revisit the previous tutorials. I think we are done with the system config. Very good. Let's get out of this. And finally, media manager config. Let's hit the question mark. Is there anything worth changing? Mm, no. Let's do it done. Make sure we have the state enabled, latching enabled, well they are by default, so I think we are done here. Let's get back to the ena enabled level, save and activate the configuration. Perfect, we are done with the zip config, system config and media manager sections. Let's move on to something more fun, the local policies. Let's go back to the simple analogy we have been using to explain what an SPC basically does. You are sitting in the middle of a room with four doors. People knock on a door to come in, talk to you and wait for you to point them to the door they need to use to get out. You are completely in control. You are like the whole monitor in an elementary school. It's all good when you have one person knocking on the door every minute or two. What happens if there are dozens or hundreds of people knocking on the doors? You would need to automate this routing instead of doing it manually. Similarly, in the SPC, you as an admin configure local policies that define which calls should go from which port to which port. Once these are configured, SPC routes the calls accordingly. Let's configure a local policy as an example to forward every call coming from California to Texas. Remember, California and Texas are realms we configured in the previous tutorial. Alright, we are logged into our SPC again. Let's go to local policies section. Make sure there's nothing there. And let's hit the question mark to see what are the available entries. From address to address, source realm, these are important. Policy attributes is also important. Let's go with those. From address to address, 
source realm, we agreed on sending every call from California to Texas, right? So policy attribute, another section there. I need the question mark to see next hop realm. Is there anything important here? No. Well, at least we don't need them to configure our SBC. Next hop, Texas SIP proxy one. And this SIP proxy belongs to the realm Texas. Done. It takes us back to local policy. We need to do another done. And now we have our local policy to send all calls from California to Texas. For those of you who do not know him, Tarzan is a friend of ours. We have been using him in analogies to explain the concepts in our RFC 3261 simplified series. He is now making another test call for us to analyze for this series. As you can see here, Tarzan is in California. He is using California C proxy 1, whereas Jane is in Texas and Jane uses Texas C proxy 1. Naturally, the SPC we just configured sits between these two realms, these two SIP proxies. Now, Tarzan calls Jane. Let's see if our simplified SPC configuration with minimum number of entries works. Alright folks, what do we have here? Let's start with the SIP proxies. This is California SIP proxy 1. This is Texas SIP proxy 1. As we discussed, Tarzan is registered to a registrar here and it's using C proxy one in California, whereas Jane is using Texas C proxy one. And in between, we have our SBC. So as you can see, there are no active inbound or outbound calls at the moment. So let's see what Tarzan and Jane are using. We have a Kali instance here running a SIP client that Tarzan is using. Again, Tarzan is registered to the California SIP proxy, whereas Jane is using this Windows SIP client and she is registered to Texas SIP proxy. These are Oracle Enterprise Communication Broker instances, quite easy to install. You can use them as SIP proxy, registrar and so on. So let's see what happens when we call Jane from Tarzan's SIP phone. Ooh, let's answer. Do we see the call here? Yes, inbound. So the call is coming from California SIP proxy one as we configured and it's going to Texas SIP proxy one out to Jane's phone. Let's try this again. Again, the calls are cleared. Tarzan calls Jane. You see the call here. Answer the call. And now, once again, we are seeing the SBC processing that call. To summarize what we have configured in this Oracle slash ACMA packet session border controller simplified configuration series, take a look at this diagram. We started with physical interfaces, followed by network interfaces and SIP interfaces with steering pools. We also added session agents at this level. Finally, we added SIP config, system config and media manager sections and configured local policies for routing decisions. That's all there is to it.